Nathan Thompson, um, fine win last week at Cheltenham. I guess this place has been quite a happy place to be this week. It has, probably since the start of the season, if I'm honest. I think um, it's been a very progressive start and we've been um, yeah, we've been happy with a lot of the results. It's probably look back and maybe the Carlisle game and the Charlton game, you come away slightly frustrated. But on the whole, it's been um, yeah, a good start to the season. Yeah, well, you, you talk about the Carlisle game and you're back at home this week. What's in the mindset to sort of not let that happen again? I think for us, it's the stadium's become, um, our home stadium's become a bit of a fortress. Um, different maybe calibre opposition in, in Oxford and um, a team that's been at this level for a long time and they possess a lot of quality players. But we'll go with exactly the same sort of game plan that we've had throughout the season. It's, it's very much on the front foot, um, defending aggressively and, and being ruthless at the top end of the pitch. Um, I think really think that changes whoever we play against and um, it'll be a good test for us. It'll be a real sort of reckoning to see where we are and and realistically how good this start of the season is if we can go there and, and pick up or um, them to come to us and us take away three points would be would be massive for us. Yeah, we keep saying it, it's, it's a big game but I mean every game in League One's a big game, isn't it? This is it. I think you look at the, um, the Portsmouth ones and naturally teams that have got bigger followings or teams that are established at this level for a, a longer period of time you naturally assume it's a bigger game but there's no win in this league that that worries you in that sense. Um, we've got very capable players here and boys that have stepped up to the level that maybe haven't been playing at this level for a period of time. So it's um, a credit to themselves and to the management team that have enabled and equipped us um, to go out and, and perform. But yeah, it's, it's an exciting time at the moment. You've been around this level obviously before. You had a great season last year. What does it take to actually stay up at the top end of the table? Consistency. I think that realistically that's all it comes down to, to be able to continue to perform at these levels that we've been forming at for the whole course of the season. Um, no one really remembers the team that are second, third in the league in, in September, October time. It's, it's where you finish in April, May and um, it, it's going to require a, a slog because come Christmas time when the games come thick and fast and um, you have to be able to perform that we are performing. Um, but that's what it takes and we've seen that we're capable of doing it. It's just being able to re replicate that and, um, and continue to keep those high standards. Has there been a change in the mindset because of the start or did you know really from the start of the season that we can compete in this season? No, I think we'd be naive to say there hasn't been maybe. Naturally, when a team comes up from the league above, you maybe assume that it'll be get safe and then see where we go from there. When you've won the amount of games we have done in the first nine games of the season, your mindset does change on that. Um, but that's a good thing. Now we're only looking above us and, and what we can achieve this season and um, off the back of last season, the momentum that the club had and then what you've added to it and, and how it started this season. I think it gives us real impetus to, to carry, go, carry on going forward. So as I say, it's an exciting time, but it requires that level to, to remain up there at all times. Well, Listy stole the headlines last week with obviously his two goals. That was you know, obviously going to happen. What was sort of forgotten about in, in all of that was that was a fifth clean sheet in the nine games. As a centre-half, you must think, yeah, that's great. Yes, definitely. And I think that's why we come away from the Carlisle and the, the Charlton games in particular and probably frustrated because as much as they uh, Charlton in particular had more possession, we felt as though we weren't really being troubled, um, especially in shots on goal. So that was frustrating. But yeah, I mean, it's a real gives us a real foundation to build on when you've got the players that we have at the top end of the pitch. If we're able to secure it behind and ensure that we're not conceding goals, um, it gives us a real chance. Teams that get promoted out of this league, you only have to look at last season, the likes of Ipswich, were extremely resolute at the back and um, and to be able to continue. And that gives you confidence. I think naturally, if you're you're scoring goals, you know that we're, we're rock, rock solid at the back. It, yeah, we can something to build on. I mean, I look at the defence and I think there's, you've all got different sort of talents and abilities. You know, you've got Pidge, who's a big, strong rock. You've got Sweeney, who loves to dribble and stuff like that. It, it's a nice little mix of players back there. Really nice blend, I think. Um, it, the two outside of me gives us a real aggression in their sort of um, defensive actions and it allows me to cover off the back of them so we can be aggressive on the front foot and then anything in behind as a middle centre half I can come and, and sweep up and um, yeah it's a nice blend and then we've got the sort of aggression at the top end of the pitch in terms of set pieces as well um, you see the amount of first contacts we, we make on the ball um, it's probably the first time I've been involved in a team that are so productive from set pieces and um it gives you a real chance. You look at teams that have been promoted out of this league previously as well. Um, they're common denominators in clean sheets and set-piece um, 
yeah, goals from set pieces. And we seem to have a, a nice blend of both of them at the moment in time. So long may that continue. Playing with your brother again, how's that going? Yeah, that was that was massive for me. It was more of a um, personal reason that I, the move back down south. I know it's only Peter brought the road, but naturally to, to be closer to, to family um, back home and then to couple that with, with being with my brother as well, it worked really nicely. And sometimes it's fate. Um, it had been what, probably about eight years since I'd, I played with Lou and um, to have him to back alongside me. Um, know someone that's always going to have my back in the dressing room, on the pitch. Um, it's a nice feeling and it's, it's great to see him doing well and, and back to playing like I know he's capable of. Um, He's, he's, he's had a tricky couple of years in terms of injuries and stuff and that can knock your confidence at times but um, to see him flying again and getting on the ball and driving with it and stuff is, is qualities that I knew he could possess and it's great to see. And playing for the boss, how's that going? I mean, I mentioned that on Football Focus the other day and it was only a sort of sly comment, or a little comment off the... Um, but I just sort of said it's... The gaffer comes with a reputation that he can be extremely demanding and stuff like that realistically he's a winner and you can't ever take that away from him he's someone that's has been successful at league one and league two level and um i think that's then becomes ingrained in the players the mentality of no we need to, we're going out there to win and you win at all costs he um it is demanding it you know what he expects of you and if you let those standards slip then you know you can you can get a bit of a telling off for it but it's ingrained in the players mentality now and that's something that can only be um, a positive thing